Hi developers, I'm Hossam Dillia, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll learn what is the difference between a portable class library and a shared project when creating Xamarin Forms applications. Here I have created a Xamarin Forms application that uses the portable class library. For that, I do have here a project called uh, PCL or my portable class library. From this portable class library, I can access all the uh, API that are that came with the Xamarin Forms uh, NuGet packages, and those API lives in uh, xamarinforms.core platform, XAML, or even in the .NET subset uh, library. So here in my main page, I do have a label. I can access this label to change its uh, properties depending on the device I am running on. So if I'm on iOS, I want the label to be displayed in red. On Android, it will be on green. From the PCL or the portable class library, if we try to access the API that is specific to one platform, Let's say, for example, I want to access the UI label that exists only on the iOS API, then I cannot do that. Here I cannot add a reference to this UI uh, label. The same thing if I want to access, for example, the text view that exists only on uh, Android API, then of course I cannot do that. Why this limitation? That's because in the PCL, we only can access those API or those NuGet packages. Anything outside of those references, we cannot access it. Remember, at the end, our PCL, if we go to its properties, is a subset that should support all of these platforms. So it will take or it will be actually a subset of all of these platforms. Anything that is defined in one platform and not the other, it will not be supported in PCL. So what now if we choose to, uh, to work with shared projects? So let's add a shared project to this solution. For that, I'll go to my solution, right click, and then click Add, New Project. And from here, I go and select C Sharp, then look for Shared Project. I'll add this one. Let's call it Shared Project, then add it to our solution. Click Reload. The Shared Project here, it's an empty project, but we can uh, paste this uh, main page from the PCL to the Shared Project. By doing that, now we get another main page in our shared project in which we do have the same hello label. And we can also do anything that we can do from the uh, PCL project. Now to support or to call the main page from this shared project, we should add references to it. You see that for uh, the iOS project, the Android or the UWP all have references to the PCL project. So to use the shared project, you should also add a reference to it. So let's add those references from here iOS, also from Android, go add reference. Then from the shared projects here, select this one. And also we'll do the same for the UWP project so that we can access uh, all the classes inside the shared project. Great. Now you see that that hello label, we can access um, its text color to change it depending on the uh, platform that I'm running on. But more than that, in the shared project, and what is exciting about shared project is that we can access the specific API code. We can access the UI label, for example, 
that exists on iOS. You see here, I can do that and it appears in IntelliSense. So I can do UI label. And let's add that reference. You see here it adds UI kit. I cannot uh, add this reference inside my TCL project. I can only do this in, on the shared project. So let's define our label. Let's see, e equal new UI label. This is really um, unique about shared projects. We do also can access the API elements that are specific to Windows UWP. We can say, for example, text block. But here it doesn't, uh, I can't get text block. But if I go here and change this one, you see here I get all the three platforms. If I choose UWP, then you see here I can access the text block and add the reference to that text block which is inside my Windows uh, UWP API. Let's create that text block. Let's call it text block equal new text block. Great. Now that we have added the text block and changed it, this one here to UWP, I get an error in my for my uh, iOS specific code. Why is that? That's because the shared project now is considered as a UWP class library. So it supports only the specific code for the UWP. But if I go back and change this to iOS, then I get the iOS code working fine and not um, recognizing the Windows UWP code. Here it gets in red to say it's an error. And here shared project come with uh, another concept which is the if diff. If I go here to my uh, iOS project, right click and select properties, you see that here I have those uh, here I go to the build item here and here you see that I get this condi uh, conditional compilation symbols it defines three symbols that I can use from my shared project so here I have one call it iOS I copy that and I'll use that one to say that uh, my project could run on iOS the way to do that is by defining that compilation property right here we say we say if and then the syntax we say here we will copy that one for iOS so if we are running this shared project as part of the uh, iOS project then we'll call the UI label so let's end that call. If iOS, then we'll create the label. And if, and the specific code for iOS uh, ends with this uh, and if. What's now if we are running that uh, this code for UWP? So for UWP, we do have almost the same thing. We can say if, and here you see that we have the if conditional compilation for UWP. Let's end it. And if. Great, so now what we are saying here um, is that if we are running this shared project as part of my iOS application, I'll go and call or create a UI label. If I'm inside my UWP project, then I call the text block. Now, what about Android? So it's almost the same thing. We do have if, but in the default values defined here, we do not have an if uh, Android. So 
as there is an if for iOS we can create one for Android so let's go to the Android project which is here go to its properties go to the build menu here and here you see that its conditional compilation symbols is empty so we can create one ourselves so let's call it for example Android great and let's save this so we can recognize it from our C sharp code so here I can came and say if then I get the uh, conditional compilation for my Android project now if I'm running this on an Android project then I want to call something that exists only on the Android API that thing could be a text view for example uh, but you see here I don't have IntelliSense to help me to recognize the API inside the Android for that I can go here and select Android then I can type text view and here immediately I get the IntelliSense helping me to get the um, UI element or to access the API inside the Android project you see here it's the text view inside the android.widget namespace so let's select that one and let's call it text view equal a new text view we can uh, we should specify an, an application context for our text view and here I go and create uh, a context by calling application.context Now you see that on top of this file, I'm getting some errors here uh, for the using. So here, as I am choosing the Android um, project here, uh, it, it won't recognize the UI kit, which came from the iOS project or the Windows UI XAML controls, which came from my UWP project. So again, the solution is to use if def compilation um, items so I can say here if I'm in my UWP Windows project then I want to add that namespace and if and here the Android widget exists only on the Android namespace so I can say if Android then I want to include this namespace and if it's not Android then I want I want not to include uh, that one the same thing here we'll say if I am in my running this shared project inside the iOS application then I want to include the UI kit great uh, also here you see that this namespace android.app.application is part of my Android project so I can just remove it right to here to say if I'm running this as part of my Android project I want to include those two namespaces now you see if I change to another one to iOS for example then the Android and the Windows specific code will be great and that helps me to recognize which code is concerned in this context so the difference between the shared project and the PCL you see here that the shared project adds lots of these if dev elements those are the things that making shared project unique and m more powerful than the portable class library are actually the things that are recommend that are making people recommending to not using shared projects because here you see that these if devs are um, they will become a lot of blocks with if devs and in each part of my app I do have those if devs 
this will make my code really difficult to uh, to understand you choose the shared project when you don't have a solution with the uh, PCL project. Again, remember that with the, uh, share, with the portable class library, we can access specific code through custom renderer, dependency server, or IOC dependency injections. So leave the, sh uh, the shared project as your last solution for the problems you might uh, find in your application. So I hope this video was helpful for you and thank you.